All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, jumping on here in the chat, and the first thing I get I get I get uh, in trouble for is no no uh, no brunch on the weekend. But I've got a recipe. I do have a recipe figured out for brunch that I'm going to do. So I figured. Uh, why not do it? Because next weekend is actually Easter weekend, right? I think it is. Yes, it's all blending into one, but next week, Easter weekend. So I've got the perfect one, one pot uh, brunch that you can do. So we'll do that for next weekend. I, I don't know if I'll do it on sun Saturday or Sunday. One of the weekend dates, we'll get everything ready to do it. Because um, everybody wants to, <laughs> to do brunch. I didn't do brunch because I was lazy this weekend basically didn't really do anything um although well anyways well, well let's start off and then we'll tell you i'll tell you all about the weekend so we've got a this we'll do live streams this week we'll do obviously monday today we'll do monday on the schedule monday wednesday friday and then we will do brunch on the weekend okay no so with that so if it is your first time here thanks for joining in i think we've got most of the regulars uh i think i said hi to everybody lois christine nadia tammy's here hey tammy uh, Mike's here. He came in first. Stella's here. Uh, so thanks so much for joining me in another um, kitchen quarantine. I guess we're going to call it now. I don't know. Someone else is doing kitchen quarantine, so I can't really call it that. But uh, we're going to start to do. I think kind of an idea. Some of the things I've done is to do some maybe some more just little snack ideas, little recipes. Not necessarily a full full dinner. So we're not going to take up you know a whole hour of your time. Uh, for for this, but it might give you some ideas in terms of what you can make make for um, uh, for your uh, like to have your dinner, some of the sides, something like that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Uh, for today, uh, what I'm going to make is a little bit of snack, calling it like Netflix Netflix party snacks. Um, it's always kind of tough. I think right now we're, we're trying to plan trying to plan your meals, trying to plan your groceries. You can't just run out for a bag of chips or, you know, a snack, that kind of stuff. So um, what uh, this one is going to be is uh, probably most people, if you've gone, have probably gone through their cupboards and most likely, I know we did a recipe last week with chickpeas, but we'll do some chickpeas today. So crispy, now these are going to be like a good low sodium snack. So we'll do crispy spiced chickpeas. I have started up. Uh, heating up the oven. I've got it heated up, uh, preheated to 420. So we're going to start with that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the chickpeas in. In we're going to put them in the oven first, and then I'll talk to you about the recipe and how it kind of goes. Super easy. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, so for this is basically, I'm just going to do one can. These you can do obviously more depending on how many how many people are going to snack. They are kind of really filling though, so you don't need to do a ton. And what I found is I was doing a, a kind of a test on these over the weekend and um, they're good, but they're really only good for the first, the first day they stay crunch. They do stay crunchy. Um, after, after you, if they sit, they, they just lose their, they just lose their, their crunch. So they're not as good. They're not as good. The second, you know, kind of the second day around they're they're okay, but they're not as good. So I'm going to take them, drain them and then rinse them off in water. Okay. And you want to give them a good, a good rinse to get all that kind of canned water stuff off there. Now for this recipe, pretty simple. After they're rinsed, we're going to put them onto the, uh, we've got the cookie tray here. And um, what you want to do is put them on a, at first, put them on a, on a, on a towel because you want to try and get them as dry as possible. That's what I figured out to do. So they are, um, so they stay crispy. So you want to kind of pat them dry. You can do this with paper towel, but it's just easier to do if you have a kitchen towel that's clean. So dry them as much as possible and then onto the tray. And at this point, no, um, no oil or anything, just the, uh, just the chickpeas. Okay. And then we're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to set the timer so I don't, uh, so I don't forget. And uh, every oven is obviously going to be a little bit different, but 
so you you want to get you want to get an idea on yours so uh, preheat 420 20 minutes to start check them about 15 minutes because if you have a hotter oven it's going to take it's going to be um, uh, you don't want them to burn uh, so basically what this recipe is is after they're cooked they we are going to put them on a uh, some spices so for this one I like what I've discovered is you can kind of do any this is where you can kind of raid your cupboard as well so whatever kind of spice you like and kind of think of like you know um, with it, similar to like eating roasted you know roasted uh, if you're buying in the store like roasted uh, nuts almonds that kind of stuff so obviously we're going to avoid the salt with these ones um, but what I found is good there's some chipotle pepper uh, chipotle powder you could use that's quite a little bit of spicy a little kick uh, if you do like the smoked paprika you could do smoked paprika um, there's regular paprika as well uh, and also I found is these there's like some blends of spices so some herb and pepper spice and there's also like a salt-free barbecue spice that I found which is pretty good and then what we're gonna do is uh, we'll show you when it's when it is ready uh, toss it in a very little amount of olive oil, just enough um, to kind of coat them, uh, and then the spice on top so it sticks, and then we're going to put it back in the oven for probably another 10, 15 minutes, and they'll be nice and kind of, the outside will be nice and crunchy, and inside they'll be, they'll be still soft, so when you're eating them they're kind of like little crunchy, kind of like nuts. Um, and it's also good, I found, is to put a little bit of honey on top. If you like a little bit of sweetness, you can do the honey. So that's that's good there, um, but basically, kind of whatever whatever spice you you like. Um, I've seen I, I found a whole bunch of recipes. So this is like some with like lemon zest and and garlic or pepper, crack you know cracked pepper and and lemon. It's kind of whatever you're whatever you're into. I like a little bit of spice, so I found the chipotle pepper with honey is really good. Um, I made some on. I made some. That's a little, that's a little, that's all that's left. I made them the other day, and that's uh, the chipotle one. So that's what I'm going to make make again. Yeah, so super easy. And then I will fire up the laptop and watch uh, Netflix and have have my snack. So, so super easy one. What I'll do um, when when we're done the the this uh, live stream, I'll put the full recipe down in the description below just to kind of give it give it an idea. Um, but let's go back here. I, I see some questions. So. Um, you're all good talking amongst uh, amongst yourself. Um, so Christine's ready for brunch. Okay, brunch. I guess I have to do brunch this weekend. No worries. So everybody's got mimosas, jalapeno margaritas would be good for brunch. You might as well. Uh, oh, Karen's here. Hey, Karen. Everybody likes chickpeas. Yeah, everybody I think seems to like them. It's just wondering what you have to do with them. So everybody's probably got a can of chickpeas. This is something a little a little bit different um, to do, other than making like a hummus or something like that for a snack and once these are they're pretty simple to I mean obviously once they're in the oven that's kind of it we're gonna to toss them the spice and they're ready to go we'll start snacking um, it is a new tray um, I it's in the oven obviously I can show it anymore um, I was gonna mention that actually I I got it at um, uh, where did I find it here Canadian Tire of all places it was on sale when we moved here it's nice because it's actually really similar to the the it's Paderno wasn't very expensive it was on sale and it's it's the same style as what we used to use in hotels and the ones in hotels they have the big obviously bigger oven so they have bigger bigger baking trays and this is the same style just half the size but it's th it's it, it's definitely thicker um, aluminum so when you when you you know when you put it in the oven when you have stuff in the oven it's not going to bend and when it gets you know some of the some of the cheaper thinner uh, pipe like they they'll, they'll warp when they get hot. This one's been good. It's got a nice edge on it, so nothing can slip. You know, come off. You can you can do all sorts of stuff, and it um, and it's sturdy, so it won't um, it won't uh, won't warp. Uh, I'm going to try. Uh, I, f I found a good recipe for something to get flour and stuff like that for baking, but I'm, I got a good scone recipe. I'm going to do some scones. Use that. So, and then for the chickpeas, that we just put on put on just right on the pan. You don't need to put any oil or anything on there they'll be they'll be fine um, you could put a bit of parchment paper if you have that but it just makes it a bit easier to clean with the parchment paper after we put the spice and stuff on there but if you scrub it it's fine um, and it probably won't stay that shiny for very long but. but everybody's here Pam's here Sam's here 
Um, Paderno, yeah, it's a good, it, it is good, it's a good, it's a good home brand for sure. Seems pretty solid, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid stuff. They make good pots too. If you get a good set of a good set of pots, they'll last you. They will last you a long time. You pay a little bit more, and they'll they'll definitely last a little bit longer than uh, buying. Seems like kitchen stuff. Like you don't want to spend. You don't. You don't have to always spend a fortune. But if you do spend a little bit more money, it will. It'll last you a bit longer than buying the cheapest thing just to get a just to get a uh, the pieces you need. So, um, but obviously, as you can see from this title, uh, these are Netflix snacks. So I guess we talked a little bit about Netflix, and I wanted to kind of see. I finished. Uh, I don't think Liz is here. If she is, sorry, but. Um, for Netflix, what is everybody? Oh, obviously, the Tiger. If everybody's seen Tiger King, hopefully, uh, I just finished that, and I'm on to Ozarks. But Ozarks, I'm almost finished season three. So, what is a good show to start on Netflix? Oh, Liz is here. And I heard uh, for Tiger King, I, I saw on Facebook that they're actually going to do another uh, one episode. They have an, like a bonus episode or something coming at that. So. Uh, Narcos Mexico. I started Narcos Mexico, Mike. Um, I got into it and then I kind of stopped. I'll have to finish. I've got three or four episodes left of the last season. But I like, I like Narcos too. You have to be kind of into it though because the subtitles, it takes a bit bit more concentration. If you fall asleep, you always miss, you miss out on everything. <laughs> oh, pizza dough. I do have a good pizza dough recipe I will make. Uh, I have to get flour. So my my adventure today was figuring out, uh, thanks to Pam, uh, for her suggestion is Inst Instacart. And we put a whole order together for Instacart today uh, to be delivered. And I actually had a time, I went through the whole thing, had the big grocery, had the list, everything. And then I went in to put my payment in and I had a delivery time for today. We're gonna have a bunch of groceries, a bunch of food. And then it flagged my card for fraud because my billing address is still in BC and I was trying to get the groceries delivered to Calgary. So they flagged my whole account and I have to, I had to send them in ID and like authorization for my card. And I'm still waiting for my Instacart uh, login to get reactivated. I'm not going to hold my breath. I, I'm sure I, w I looked online and it's happened to a lot of people. So I don't know how quickly they actually fix this. So we'll see, I'm gonna have to start a new account and figure something out, I don't know. Uh, and you can't, I just have been lazy and I should have changed my address in the card, but that, of course my ID hasn't been changed yet. So if I have to show ID, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, is, is, that, is that show on there? Is that, I haven't seen it in a long time, it's too funny. Um, but yeah, light and fluffy shows. Narcos, uh, no, sorry, not Narcos. But, um, Ozarks is good if you if you started watching that. But yeah, it's an investment for sure because it's in the third season, so you have to uh, catch up. It's and it's it's not light and fluffy, but it's good. <laughs> Tiger Tiger King is kind of light and fluffy if, if you have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just circle. Yeah, it's true. I don't know. We'll figure. We'll figure out. We'll figure out how to how to get my get my stuff sorted. I I I I, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna check quickly. Check these. And they're good. You can just go and give them a get them a, give them a bit of a bit of a shake. Too many up top people on Tiger King. Yeah, pretty much. It's. You watch it. I don't know if you've watched it, Lois, but if you you watch it and then it basically is um, you watch an episode and you go, These, "How can this get crazier?" And then it gets crazier. That's basically that's basically Tiger King. Oh, Dean, good show, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, I've been watching. I've been, there's lots of Hell's Kitchen and like Kitchen Nightmare clips that are good on YouTube that I've been watching on Kitchen Nightmare channel. Um, the Kitchen Nightmare ones I like. It's always kind of funny when he's going in there. And uh, and uh, screaming and some of the YouTube ones aren't censored like the TV show was, so it's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um, another good kitchen since we're talking about kitchen shows, another good kitchen show which I really enjoyed 
on Netflix was the chef. Is it chef? I have to look it up. Can't remember the name now. The chef's chef's table. There's a few seasons. Um, hold on here. Let me find it. Pretty sure it's chef's table. And it follows along. Uh, yeah, chef's table. So there's, uh, well, there's quite a few. There's like, I got to catch up here. Um, there's like six seasons of it and they, they basically go through and it's like documentaries of different, of like basically some of the, the top chefs in the world. Um, and it kind of follows them and shows them how they started their restaurants and very different. They're all very different, very different recipes, different countries. It's not just the merit. It's not just the States or anything like that all over the world. All these uh, famous, famous chefs kind of documentary style on how they, how they built their restaurants and got into the business. It's really, really interesting, actually, uh, really interesting um, on a show on uh, called chef's table on Netflix. If you haven't watched that, um, check that out. The first season is re really good. Like one of the, one of the ones, um, the first, very first episode kind of got me hooked was, is, is a, a restaurant, a restaurant uh, in Italy. And it's like the number five, I guess with the with the way the ratings go, it's like one like number five restaurant in the world of of that, and you see how the kitchens were. It's just, it's pretty amazing coming from history, coming from a background in the kitchen. Um, it's it was interesting to see and just the different the different uh, different kitchens, and it goes through all. Everyone is kind of is is really is all the chefs are all a little bit different, um, but but a good show to watch. Uh, Hell's Kitchen on Prime. Okay, so I have Prime. Yeah. Okay. I'll um, I'll check that out because I do have Prime. I wonder if it's if Hell's Kitchen's probably not. It's probably not uh, like censored. It's always good on. Uh, it's always good on YouTube because they haven't censored it. Blacklist. I should be writing all these down, but I'm going to go through the chat afterwards. And see, like everybody's watching Netflix. Oh, not censored. Okay, I will get that done. So, what's everybody? I guess while I have you here, I'm, I mean, I'm just making snacks today. We've got we've got some we've got a few recipes planned. Um, Jason's starting his his film school uh, this week. He started today, so that's going to be starting. So we're going to be doing a bit more kind of filming on the like not doing live stuff but doing some more filming with stuff for the channel recording it and then uh, and then posting and then um so make sure I, I think most people that are here are you know are are subscribed to the channel but we've I've started posting we'll do some we'll do some shorter shorter kind of clips with some recipes to try um we did one over the weekend for brussels sprouts we had brussels sprouts over the weekend so we filmed it all and it's um it's a good one brussels sprouts uh, sauteed with a lemon and uh, garlic, uh, good little, good quick easy recipe uh, to follow if you want to do Brussels sprouts a little bit. Uh, oh, it, it, most people that think of Brussels sprouts always kind of think of um, like the soggy, frozen, mushy Brussels sprouts that they would have uh, at Thanksgiving or Christmas. But uh, there's some good recipes uh, for some roasted or sautéed. Uh, Brussels sprouts, if you get the fresh Brussels sprouts, for sure. And uh, so there's one shared on my channel. I obviously did it with um, keep it vegetarian and um, and low sodium with that recipe. But it, again, it's always a kind of a base to start off. So if there's something else you want to add on there, if you wanted to add um, Brussels sprouts is good with um, got grated uh, fresh Parmesan cheese on, on top at the end. It's also good if you put some bacon in there too. People like bacon. Um, we're not having it, but that's always good as well. But everybody seems to love love Brussels sprouts. So that was kind of a good one to do. We've still got some more in the in the fridge too, so maybe I'll figure out something else to do another uh, another uh, recipe with that one. And then again, if ever, anybody has some ideas, I, I I have had a couple of people send me um, a couple of links for some of their site like recipes and stuff that they really like. Um, so if you if you are see if you do see something. Uh, send me something on Facebook. Uh, send me a message with a uh, with a recipe, and I'd love to try. Like, if it's something that you'd like to try, and you'd like to eat, then definitely um, send it along, and I'll take a look, and can always kind of adjust it if you need to with ingredients and stuff like that to kind of maybe give a bit of a spin on it. But um, 
it's always appreciated kind of some new ideas um, to find uh, to do. Chicken wings would be good. Yes. Oh, hey, hey, Pam. Hey, Tony. Is he watching? Um, can do chicken wings. I have to, I'll have to, we'll have to pick some up. But um, yeah, could for sure. Could for sure find find something. We still have lots of those hot peppers left in the in the freezer. The Scotch bonnet peppers. So I might be able to find something to do some hot wings with that. That's a good idea, actually, Lois. Just have to find chicken uh, chicken wings. Thanks for all the suggestions on the shows too. I'm gonna gonna go back to the chat and be able to see some good shows to watch. And risotto, yeah, risotto, I could do risotto. I've got to pick up something with it. I've, I only have, um, just have the rice right now, Nadia, so I, I want to get, uh, obviously make a meal out of it. So I'll have to pick up some mushrooms or something like that. Um, or maybe some, yeah, just some different, maybe some different veggies, grilled, maybe do some asparagus or something like that um, to have it. Mushroom risotto was good. Um, yeah, but we do have we do have some so I'll make that. Um, yeah, I haven't had risotto in the, I I haven't probably had risotto probably three years. So all right, we have about four more minutes. Then we'll do the spice up, and then get them get them ready to go, and they'll be almost ready. Risotto is really good though. Mushroom risotto. Mushroom risotto. Maybe I'll get some. Try and find some uh, portobello mushrooms. They're good. Some asparagus. Oh yeah, we could do asparagus. Yeah, I could do an asparagus recipe. I have to find some. See if they're in the stores. I haven't bought any for a long time. We'll see. I'll see what's. Uh, I'll see what's out there, Lois. Um, they. Are, I mean, they are good. Always grilled. Um, and uh, on the barbecue, really simple. But um, yeah, we can. I'll find. I'll find a nice recipe for from some asparagus. We'll do some maybe with some chicken or something like that. Um, I'm just kind of going through basically like the the cupboard. I think everybody's probably the same, right? Going through the cupboards and trying to find what we have, like what you have, and find some neat ways to to you to 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 use them to use them up. But yeah, there should be some. There should be some asparagus, Christine. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of remembering uh, to go to go and get them. Um, but we still have like lots of canned stuff, so you don't want to. I mean, we we don't want to just. You have to be careful with fresh fresh food because if it sits too long, it just doesn't. It's not not good. And stuffed baked potatoes. Yeah, my order for Instacart today, I I did have potatoes on the order, so that will get or those will get picked up. Big bag of potatoes. I want to do. I got to use them up. I've got. To, there's going to be potatoes for the brunch, um, so I'm going to do fresh, um, some fresh. Uh, what am I trying to say? Hash browns. So we'll make everything fresh from uh, for for brunch. I have enough stuff. I think I have enough stuff right now for brunch, but we'll have to, I'll get some more potatoes anyways. But baked potatoes would be good. Haven't had baked potatoes for a long time. With all the toppings, for sure. You know what's really good with asparagus. Um, is if you if you if you have a barbecue, since we're talking about asparagus, is if you have uh, buy some uh, prosciutto and you can buy a prosciutto ham. If uh, at the I know Superstore has it. A lot of most stores would have it already um, already sliced in thin slices. And then what you want to do is take uh, take like four or five pieces of of, uh, of asparagus. Just raw, uh, cut the ends off uh, the the wood, the, the the root part, and um, then roll roll them in, like roll them up in a bundle with the prosciutto, and the prosciutto is sticky enough; it'll stick, you know, it'll stick and hold it into like a package, and then you can put that on the grill, put it on the barbecue, and then grill it around till it's till it's um till it's all grilled all around and it's all charred and it's it's really good. You don't need to put. I mean, this, the 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 prosciutto is salty enough, so you don't need to put any salt on it, but just some, just some like cracked pepper on top at the end. Um, you don't even really, you don't even really need olive oil or anything like that. You could, you could put a little, but there's enough oil with it, when, with it wrapped from the, uh, from the, the ham prosciutto. So it's salty and uh, keeps it in a package. And then you can basically do those up ahead of time. If you're, if you're doing, you know, you're cooking a steak or something on the barbecue, 
you can do if you have a few people over, you can make the little bundles ahead of time, and then you just have to put them on the grill. And the best part is because they're connect, like they're all together. Is worst thing is like if you're trying to grill asparagus by itself and it turns the wrong way or something, it always falls down into the grill. This way, it keeps it all together. So a super easy one. Yeah, Dean saying save the canned stuff. I know, I know. Yeah, we don't have a ton. Okay, and let me just check these. One, 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. So what we're gonna do, I'll show them on the cutting board here. They're not gonna be completely, completely um, browned yet, but they're gonna be dry. So that's, that's basically what we want. Um, And you can kind of, I don't know if you can hear them, but you can kind of hear that they're almost, they're basically uh, done there. They're definitely crunchy. Um, there's Some of them will kind of split open a little bit, um, but they won't be, they're still not gonna be crispy. So put them into a bowl. And this is where you want to put the spice on. And so for the olive oil, very, very little because you, you just want enough for it to stick. I would say even like half a teaspoon, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then the spice. And don't be afraid to put a lot of spice because it's not all going to stick to it. So that's on there. So the olive oil kind of coats it. And then I like a little bit of honey for some sweetness. You don't want a ton of this because if you put too, if you put too too much, it will actually really burn. But you just need a just need like a touch in there just to give it a bit of just to give it a bit of sweetness. And I'm going to sneeze from the So spin that around. And then right back onto the onto the same same tray, and then you want to put that in maybe another ten minutes. So ten minutes, because it wants the honey, like kind of once now that the honey's on there and the um, olive oil. It's gonna it's gonna turn brown, and they're almost they're almost kind of done. Yes, sorry, same temperature in the oven, still at 420. 10 more minutes, around. It might take a little bit longer. That's when we'll taste it. You want to kind of have it. You'll 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 t basically take them out of the oven, let it cool a little for for a second. Once you eat it, the outside's gonna have a crunch, really dry, and then the inside will be still a little bit warm and soft. So they're good. And you'll hear it crunch. These ones aren't quite done. So hopefully, let me know what if you do make these. They're really, they're really filling too. I mean, they're not like eating a bag of chips, but like they're gonna obviously because they're they're chickpeas. So if you're if you're snacking on them, you're not gonna have like a whole ton of them um, because they are quite filling. Um, but let me know what flavors you kind of like, or what you what you ended up doing. Um, I mean, you could it's kind of whatever you whatever you think would be good. Um, cracked pepper, I thought would be good again with like maybe some lemons. Um, uh, if you have one of uh, these, I think I showed this last time. One of the micro, one of the micro plain zester. This will this will zest the lemon really really fine. So you could you could do like the zest of a lemon with some cracked pepper, a little bit of olive oil, and then tossed, that'd be good. Um, you could do like cumin spiced, you could do curry, you could do, I mean, kind of whatever spice you have in, in your uh, in your cupboard. Now, if you, if you wanna do different ones, just just mix up different batches and keep them keep them separate. If you have a couple of, you know, you could mix them on the tray, they're gonna mix a little bit, but if you have a couple of trays, do a couple different flavors in the oven. I'm gonna totally sneeze. <laughs> from this pepper. 
That's super easy. Who's? That's it. Yeah. Ten, uh, sorry. Yeah. Ten more minutes, Mike, and it'll be it'll be there. So easy snack. It's kind of a quick one for for some Netflix Netflix tonight. Um, for Monday, these Monday live streams have been have been uh, have been pretty low key. Getting back into the week, hopefully everybody had you know an okay weekend. Um, get, getting the week, getting the week, week rolling as much back into normal as as possible. But we'll see. Uh, what would you use? Okay, super hot, but not good. Good question, Liz. But not burn your face off. Um, I would go with. Uh, uh, I've got some, I don't have, it's across there, but the, you could put, um, you could put some paprika, just regular paprika, but then a little bit of, uh, cayenne pepper powder that would give it spicy. Uh, you could also do a little bit of, um, if you wanted these are like, like, uh, crushed chili flakes. But I think, I think the, um, I think the, uh, The uh, what am I trying to say here? Totally lost my thought. The other spice, the uh, cayenne pepper, would be would be would be spicy. Also, the one I did the chip the chipotle Liz, it has a little bit of spice to it. Yeah, it's not uh, it's not it's 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 kind of more of a smoky spice, and uh, so it's good. The chipotle pepper, and it's not like crazy 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 hot. But chili, chili, yeah, chili. I mean, chili flakes would would be okay. So you know, you get in the bottom when you get the the real like the chili dust. Um, you could do that, but it's that's like cayenne pepper, really, same same kind of thing, just ground up. You could even put chili flakes into. Well, you wouldn't want to use the same. Like a lot of time, we used to use in the hotel. We used to have a separate. Everybody's probably got. Well, maybe not. Maybe not everybody, but a lot of people probably have like coffee coffee grinders. And if you have a, if you get a separate one, you can grind up spices in it. So you could put the chili flakes in, in into the spice and do it in the coffee grinder as well. It's, it's you know the big flakes. It's also it's also good for um, uh, gr uh, for black pepper. You can you can grind up black pepper into the uh, in a coffee grinder. Any spice really. So if you have like a the you know like uh, oregano or that kind of stuff, you can you can you can Grind that up as well into powder. It's even good if you have, uh, uh, you can grind up uh, salt as well to make like a powder. So you're not, like if you're making popcorn or something with salt or you want to have a really powdery salt on something, you can grind that up in the machine too. Peri peri. Oh yeah, you can do peri peri spice. Good one, good one Dean. Or even, I mean, if it has, there's that, what's that one, T tagine spice? That just has that just has salt. That's all. So I'm just trying to avoid the sodium, right? Kind of the idea is low sodium, low sodium. But cin yeah, cinnamon. Why not, Lois? Good idea. Cinnamon with yeah, cinnamon would be good. You could do even like maybe cumin and cumin and cinnamon. That'd be good. Yeah, it's kind of like whatever you want to try. There's no wrong. There's no wrong. Wrong choice. Cinnamon would actually be pretty good. Honey and cinnamon, maybe. Yeah, good idea. I need to get some cinnamon sticks because I, I make oatmeal in the morning in the in the machine. And out of cinnamon sticks, it's good to throw cinnamon in there or get some powder cinnamon. But good idea. Okay. Those are almost. Almost ready. Four more minutes, then we'll be done. Great minds, yeah. Honey and cinnamon, I like that idea. You could do sugar, yeah, brown sugar maybe would be good. Instead of the honey, you could do brown sugar and cinnamon. That would be good. There we go. See, that's what cooking's about. It's just kind of experimenting with different, with different things. I mean, the worst case scenario, worst case is you try it and, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't taste good. Um, 
but if you're using, you know, for the most part, if you're, if you're using, you know, fresh, fresh ingredients and the ingredients by themselves are good, usually by the time you put them all together, they'll be, they'll be decent. You might just kind of say only, oh, you know what, that's okay, but I won't try that. I won't do this again next time. That's the worst. That's the worst case. Uh, conve oh, so Christine's doing them. Oh, you're doing them at the same time. Yeah, convection would definitely cook them a bit faster with the air or air circulating. I think convection, you can almost, uh, gosh, I want to say it's almost like take a quarter of the time off to half of the time off on there too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, if it doesn't taste good, you could put it in the food processor. Yeah, you could. Yeah, if you make them too spicy or something. <laughs> Mix them in hummus. These would also be good. If, I mean, depends on the flavor. Obviously, these smoke, this smoky, uh, you know, pepper ones, they would be good on top of a, um, if you're making a salad. Uh, so like a mix, mixed salad with, with some grilled chicken or something like that, you could have them on there instead of croutons would be kind of something different um, sprinkled on top, of, uh, on top of a salad. So there's different ways to do them instead of having like snacks for the whole thing. So they, they would go good that way. So kind of a good, healthy, more protein on your salad. Uh, would be good with um, like a mixed salad with with those on top with maybe some goat cheese that kind of stuff. Yeah, like croutons, Sam. Exactly. And they've got about one minute left. Just give me one sec here. Less fat than than nuts, uh, definitely lowest fat, and that's kind of the idea. It's like a low, low cal, um, low low fat, low sodium snack. So less, you know, better for you than potato chips. Um, less sodium, uh, like a healthy snack that's still good for when you're watching TV. Let's see how they're looking. Thirty seconds. Yeah, they are all. Almost, almost there. They smell good. I like that. I like that sugar and cinnamon idea, though. That would be good to try. What kind? What kind of spice did you make, Christine? There's the timer. All right, pull these out. Uh, for dinner, salty Thai. Oh, salty Thai, there you go, and half Cajun, yeah. Uh, for dinner, we haven't made dinner. I've got uh, a couple of buns left over here that I'm gonna make um, uh, uh, f like fried egg sandwich. We're gonna make fried egg sandwiches, but we have some buns, buns left over that I'm gonna make for for dinner. Just this kind of a simple dinner. We had pasta for lunch earlier, so we're still kind of full. So we're just gonna have some fried egg sandwich. All right. So there they are. You can probably hear those. Hopefully, you can see them. Oops. There we go gonna be hot you might be able to hear the crunch go back on the bowl cool off no they're good still pretty good so there we go they're kind of like yeah like corn nuts I guess would be the best way, but they're good when they're, I mean, they're good when they're, well, they're, they're, if they're right out of the oven, they're hot, right? But they're good um, when they're a little bit warm still. I'll just snack. I think my, with my mouthful. Oh, there we go. Mm, some pepper. So simple, simple snack. Yeah, so there we go. That's the Netflix party, low sodium, healthy snack that you can make next time uh, 
next time you're looking for something as opposed to chips. Um, yeah, they, they, Christine, the reason to put them in dry at the, at the, at the very beginning, they get crunchier because it just dries them out. Whereas if you have the oil, the oil seal, everything gets sealed off and it's still going to stay kind of more, um, they'll be crunchier if you do them. So first do absolutely nothing, let them dry, and then you put them back in. That's the secret to crunchy, crunchy chickpeas. And again, like I said, they won't, they won't stay crunchy overnight. You want to eat them the same night. But they're good. Um, so there we go. Um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. For my, for my, oh, Salvador's here. Hey. From Italy. Uh, as my mouth is full here eating snacks. I really appreciate, as always, I really appreciate it when everybody shows up. It's kind of nice. To see, uh, we talked to a lot of people during the day, but it's kind of nice to relax. Look forward to seeing everybody, maybe sharing some information. Hopefully you did find it useful. And, um, and you find some ideas that you can, you know, use to make some different meals for some different things in the, uh, <coughs> that one's a bit spicy, in the cupboards. And hopefully you keep tuning in. Uh, keep checking out my videos in the channel. I think a lot of people kind of see them as I do share them. So we'll do some more, more uh, recipes like throughout the week, but we're going to do the live stream. We'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and brunch for everybody, including Stella, this weekend. Before we sign off, I, I, pre I do appreciate it. Thanks for everybody that subscribed. I, and thanks for everybody that, that, that does share. Share this is out for me. It really helps the channel uh, grow. We've, I've seen some new subscribers show up this week, which is kind of it's kind of neat when you see the subscriber number increase because it kind of shows you maybe doing something right and people are, people are enjoying it. So I do appreciate that you have uh, shared it, everybody. And again, if you are watching, oh, vacation couples here. Hey, if you are watching and you think someone that you know would find this useful, by all means, please, please share it to them. Send them an email with the link to the channel. I right, get them to subscribe, get them to join in. Um, it's always fun to share uh, tips with everybody else, but also find out what everybody else they can they can share their tips with myself as well. Before we go, we've got 16 people here, so we're, we haven't beat the record yet, but we're we're consistent. So it's kind of nice that we we have a consistent crew that shows up um, that enjoys it. Um, before everybody goes, if you could, as always, hit that like button down below so the the thumb goes up. It helps out the channel. It lets me know you liked it, and. Um, I see eight, sorry, six, Nadia, 16, I see eight likes. So you have to kind of go in as you're watching it. Nine, there we go, it's going up. But uh, the record so far on the channel was 21 people at the beginning, so, or, or throughout the, the maximum on the stream. So we'll, we're getting there, we'll see. Maybe brunch, maybe brunch will be the, uh, the tipping point uh, to have lots of people, lots of people show up. I think the weekends might be a bit better because people aren't, I mean, people are, aren't, aren't working the same, but, We'll see how it goes. Um, but that's it. I'm yammering on. I'm going to go enjoy my snacks. I'm going to go put on the rest of Ozarks. Hopefully you all have a great evening. I do appreciate it again. Thanks, um, thanks, for, thanks for showing up. And uh, thanks for your comments and thanks for your suggestions. And again, if you have anything else that you'd like to see me make, or if you have any questions, by all means, you know, send, me a, send me a message. Messenger. Leave a comment down here if you want, if you have a question. And if you have a cooking question, that we can maybe answer in the next show. I'll um, just leave me a comment and I will uh, I will get to that as well. Thanks so much. Have a great night, everybody. It's sunny here in Calgary, so maybe try and open some windows and uh, maybe go for a walk and uh, get some sun. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>